quick masks. Now quick masks are very useful ways of modifying existing selections. I tend to prefer layer masks, but quick masks have the advantage of allowing you to actually see what's hidden and what's shown by the selection. Um, let me show you what I mean. There's the standard mode um, icon, but if we go to the edit in quick mask icon, then you can see there that everything that's selected is solid and everything that's outside of the selection is in red. And we can modify the selection by spraying into the um, the image. If I spray white into the, the quick mask and we go back to the uh, standard selection, you can see we've added to the selection there. Let's do that again a bit more. Spray a bit more white. Do a big exaggerated bit. Go back to standard mode. There we go, we've actually added with the uh, airbrush now by spraying into there. It's a very strange shape, so let's sort that out by um, swapping that around to a black brush now. And you can see now we're painting with red, which means that we're restoring the selection back to what it was before. Okay, so let's just tidy this bit up as well. Um, now the advantage in using quick masks like this is it's a very quick way of fine-tuning the selection like this uh, area here. This bit of hair has been missed by the selection, so let's just change the brush down a little bit, make it smaller. Uh, and then let's choose a white brush and let's just spray a soft white brush to try and bring back some of that hair. Let's shrink the brush even more, like so. Um, so there we go, we've actually added some of these hairs there to the selection. That could do with an even smaller brush actually. Um, and now when we go back to standard mode, we've added some of those hairs now to our selection. Um, let's just fine tune that by going to a black brush and just tidying up some of the edge here so that we don't have any of the background showing through. There we go, so we tidied that up a little bit. So you can see Quick Mask is a very powerful way of fine tuning existing selections and the advantage over layer masks is you can still see um, the areas that are being masked and the areas that are being shown as well. So we can um, just spray some white into the layer mask here to show a little bit more of the hair like so and it's a nice soft brush too so we'll get a nice soft um, area showing press X to get a black brush so you can toggle between the two quite quickly and that's a nice way of making quick selections okay so there's um, the layer mask and sorry I should say there's the quick mask in operation there um, so you can decide which is the best version for you if you like quick masks or layer masks um, um, I tend not to use quick masks much at all but I am beginning to um, remember the advantage to them being able to see very clearly what is being shown and what's being hidden um, yeah that doesn't seem a bad way actually of working now that I've revisited um, quick masks for this tutorial yeah that's working quite well okay and then you can just hit backspace and delete the selection or inverse it to get rid of the background and um, we could combine that with a layer mask actually and add a layer mask and then you wouldn't lose any of the background permanently but um, at least we've got some of the hair there in the selection now so that's quick masks